It's a great honor and privilege to have hosted the first meeting of the Strategic Dialogue and Cooperation Platform together with His Excellency President Mohammed Irfan Ali. This is the materialization of our aspirations to energize the collaboration between our two countries and to personally, to personally give direction to the cooperation between Suriname and Guyana. On behalf of the government and people of the Republic of Suriname, I have conveyed a warm Surinamese welcome to the President Ali and his delegation during his auspicious visit to Suriname. This visit, the first visit abroad of President Ali, reflects the strategic bond and friendship between our two nations. As small border nations, it is of utmost importance to maintain good neighborliness, to join efforts, and to form strategic alliances to achieve maximum successes for the development aspirations of both our peoples in different areas of the economy. I'm convinced that we'll be able to achieve massive steps ahead in developing our beloved countries in the coming years. During our deliberations today, we have reiterated the importance of further deepening of the political dialogue at the highest level and to give direction to and monitor the bilateral negotiations and future undertakings in order to achieve tangible development results. Now, with the recent oil findings in both countries and the mitigation of COVID-19 pandemic, the momentum is there to target our focus on sustainable development and the resolution of the existing common challenges of two developing countries. We also use this occasion to continue our plans to jointly take on the bridging of the Quarantine River with the signing of a memorandum of understanding in this regard, which will be, signing, which will be signed by the Ministers of Foreign Affairs after this press conference. This bridge on the Quarantine River is not only important to facilitate the movement of persons and goods, trade and cross-border cooperation, but it also symbolizes a transition from the old to a new era, the era of well-being and prosperity of our peoples and freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. November the 25th, 2020, will mark 45 years since the establishment of formal diplomatic relations between our countries. Guyana and Suriname share a mutual desire for an invigorated relationship through enhanced and sustained dialogue and a practical and effective program of cooperation. During this visit, we have already had the opportunity to review the progress made on issues we had agreed upon in August. We also discussed several other areas for possible cooperation. We have taken the important step by formalizing a new cooperation mechanism, the agreement creating the strategic dialogue cooperation platform will be signed today. This establishes a framework for dialogue and cooperation, which will guide our future collaborative efforts aimed at improving the lives of our people in every possible way. We expect that the joint working groups will meet expeditiously, as President Santoki said, beginning just after this press briefing, to agree and activate their work program. 
I would like to take this opportunity to elaborate on some of the other issues which were discussed. In the area of transportation, in view of critical role the ferry service plays in the movement of goods and people, we have agreed that issues affecting the resumption of the ferry should be urgently resolved. Our ministers will sign a memorandum of understanding for the construction of a bridge across the Quarantine River. Once constructed, not if constructed, the bridge will serve as a permanent physical link between the people of Guyana and Suriname. But more importantly, that link to the rest of South America continent. We recognize the enormous benefits that this can bring in the areas of tourism, transportation, and trade. To this end, we have even expanded our discussion in areas where we can jointly promote business opportunities and tourism opportunities for both countries. It is therefore expected that the proposed road alignment will create within its vicinity the possibilities for free trade zone, enhance land value, and this of course will reduce the cost of doing business and increase the ease of doing business.